designer and illustrator and today I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions on the social media, mostly on the TikTok, like what brushes do I use? Besides that, I will be talking about how many brushes do you need and do you actually need to spend money on them? I will also link um, everything in the description, so if you would like to check it out, just take a look and all the information is right down below. As I first started with a digital illustration, I was so overwhelmed by the amount of the different brushes you can find online and I believe that I need to use all of them to achieve those beautiful results you see on my Instagram. And I end up closing my eye band, putting away and like not drawing at all. So that's why I decided to make this video to hopefully help you on your digital illustration journey. Let me take a sip before we go on. So let's dive into it. What brushes do I use? I will breaking them into three categories. Categories? 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 Never mind. <laughs> Sketching, coloring and texturing and details. Sketching. For the sketching I've been using three different brushes. Two of them are actually pro default broccoli brushes, so you already have them on your iPad. Let's start with a brush that lately became one of my favorites to use. It's a Sam Stroller. I discovered it after buying in the book Beginner's Guide to Digital Painting in Procreate by 3D Total. I downloaded it from their website under resources and I just love how their brush naturally feels and flows. When you change the angle of the pencil, you can see how the line changes and you can see me using it for defining this sketch that I previously drawn also with this brush. The second one I use is actually a default Procreate brush, you already have a 6B pencil. It's an alternative to a traditional pencil and it actually feels like a real one. It's the same as with the Sam Stroller, depending on the pressure you put in a pencil angle you choose, the stroke changes as if it would be in real life. The third and the last one I use for sketching is an ink bleed. It's the default Procreate brush you can find under inking. I won't use this one that often as I use the other ones, but it's actually a good alternative and an option. Coloring. Let's talk about the brushes I use for color blocking my illustration. Besides the brushes, I, I often use the lasso tool just because I like effects you can achieve with that. The first one will be a Sam Simple Gouache. This one is also I got from a 3D Total website and it's free for now. And I use it to color my sketches and you can see me using two different techniques of coloring. The first one here is more like a natural one. I often just feel the form with the color because it's much easier. The second one is a Max Gouache Clean from the Gouache Max Pack. It's a really famous brush set from Max Ulnichny. I will link it in the description and I love to use it for the backgrounds to add some greenery. It just gives like a natural drawing feeling and it feels really really nice. Texture and details. My all-time favorite brush, my secret ingredient to my art is a Max U Gouache Thin Gritty from a Gouache Max Pack I've mentioned before. A lot of people would say I have a watercolor feel like in my illustration and I think this is the one that gives that feeling, which is actually funny since this one should resemble with a gouache. This brush gives such a special feeling to an illustration and I use it in every time. Max U Gouache Bristle Gritty is another of my of one of my favorite brushes and it's pretty similar to the one before and it's also from the max pack so if you buy the one pack you get it all <laughs> and another one from this pack is max Gouache grain cloud as you can see i'm a huge fan of this pack i love using this one for a fog or a clouds it's such an easy brush and just gives a nice texture i often would use Three default brushes from Procreate. I uh, like the Burnt Tree, you can find it under charcoals. It's an amazing brush to add texture to literally everything you want, especially trees, I believe. And I also love Flix, it's an under spray paint. I use this one to add texture to an animal on the 
or for example a dirt on the wall or so in the example i will show you right now i will I'm using it to add a texture to a frog skin like just here and there and i will also use an ink lead to add some details like a sunlight or dust recently i discovered another beautiful brush set grid core brushes for procreate by Matei Ilchik, I hope I spelled it right, <laughs> on Creative Market. It has a so amazing texture, I still am playing with them, so I can tell you the, m the most used one yet. But I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out and perhaps you will find something you like in there. It's a huge bag, it's like 70, I believe, different brushes in texture and it's amazing. How many brushes do you need? The answer to this question will be completely different to everyone. It depends on what you're comfortable with, what your style is. There is no such thing as a perfect number of brushes you need. You just need one single brush to make perfect and beautiful amazing art that you see on the internet that a lot of digital illustrators and artists that are using just one single brush it's a special skill to draw with just one. I'll tell you that it's much easier to draw with, with a few brushes than just with one. While there are no golden rule how many brushes you actually need, there is that such thing as a too many brushes. By using too many of them, you will end up overworking and overwhelming your artwork. It will be hard for you to keep track which brushes you use for which purpose. In the end you'll end up with a collection of illustrations that with no consistency and without your recognizable unique style. What I definitely recommend is just trying things out. Like start with the default Procreate brushes, try using them, don't be scared, experiment with them and with the time you will see what which brushes do you use more frequently, what are your favorites just do it brush at a time. Don't get attached to a certain brush. Try a new one, like completely new one, and see what you can do with it and just to improve your skills. Perhaps it will be your next brush. Do I need to spend money on the brushes? And the answer is really simple. No. No, 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 no. You don't need to. Procreate did an amazing job by designing their default brushes. The studio is now sponsored by the Procreate. I've been using it for a while and I can tell you the brushes that they have are more than enough. So many illustrators are working just with their typical brushes. Don't start scrolling through online stores and online pages in a search for the perfect brush. First of all, there is no such thing. Second of all, it will eat your time and I am talking from experience. I spent so many hours like scrolling and searching for the brush that will make my art beautiful. Well, you better spend your time drawing and practicing and watching online courses and going to galleries and observing everything and drawing, drawing, drawing. This will improve your art. Your ability to use it is what makes a brush a perfect one. I'm still learning that myself. <laughs> there are also a lot of different free brushes online, so you can start with that. But of course, finding brushes is an amazing way to support your favorite artist. So please do that. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you for those who kept watching my video and I hope it was helpful. Please hit the subscribe button and I will be posting more hopefully helpful for your videos and if you have any other questions please feel free to comment or like or write me on instagram or tiktok i'll make i will make sure to get back to you thanks guys Bye.